In 2015, the Boreal Research Institute applied an adaptation of the peat inversion technique to reclaim a temporary wood chip road. For detailed information on the project and technique, refer to BRI Technical Notes 23 and 24. The wood chip road was 6 meters wide by 400 meters, leading to a decommissioned exploration well pad. The wood chip layer was approximately 50 centimeter thick, placed directly on fan peat without any geotextile. There was an underground pipeline buried parallel to the road, so all reclamation activities had to be limited to the road surface. The wood chips were prone to flooding in the spring and desiccation in the summer, creating a barren substrate unsuitable for seed germination and growth. The goal was to reintegrate the site with local water flows and create conditions favorable for vegetation re-establishment. The surrounding wooded fen is dominated by large dwarf birch and sedges. Other than black spruce and large seedlings, no other vegetation was planted on the site. Large seed and sedge rhizomes were expected to naturally revegetate the reclaimed site. To invert the peat, a single operator using a backhoe with a digging bucket was used. All operations were conducted on the road so that the surrounding natural area and the buried pipeline were not disturbed. Step one, scrape frozen wood chips from the road surface and pile behind the backhoe onto the road. Step two, excavate underlying buried peat and pile in front of the pit onto the road. Step three, return the excavated wood chips into the open pit. Step four, pull the excavated peat into the pit to bury the wood chips. Step five, lightly tap down and smooth peat surface to remove air pockets. Leave surface elevation roughly 10 centimeters higher than the surrounding area to account for settling. Step six, optional. The reclaimed peat surface did not settle as much as originally anticipated due to drier than normal spring and summer in 2015. Backtracking was utilized in August 2015 to further lower the surface. Inverting the wood chips with the underlying peat established a smooth and moist peat surface and the buried wood chips did not appear to impede water flow. The road was naturally revegetated with sedges and willows three years after the initial reclamation. Planted black spruce and larch seedlings showed healthy growth. Average moss cover was less than 5%, but we anticipate further growth in the upcoming years. The peat inversion technique was successful in this context to promote native vegetation re-establishment. It minimized disturbances to the surrounding natural area and adjacent buried pipeline and eliminated off-site removal costs. For more information on boreal ecosystem reclamation, contact the Boreal Research Institute.